There comes a time in every VFX artist's life where you just need to replace some dang billboards. Hey, I'm Ken and Profit, and in this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the plane tracker inside of Blender to quickly up the ante of your VFX shots in a really simple way. And don't worry, I promise this is going to be plain and simple. All right, let's get right into it. I'm actually going to open up a new file and take advantage of the new VFX tab in Blender 2.8. It's got all the tools we need for visual effects. I'm gonna load in my footage. I'm gonna set my timeline to just 150 frames for our example here. And here you can see we have two plain billboards. That's no good. We wanna make this sort of uh, ominous because why not? There's this cool plain track feature right over here on the left hand side. It needs four tracks in order to do that. So I'm gonna come over here to the tracking section, click add, or you can simply press control and left click and that'll add a tracking marker in. And you wanna choose a point of high contrast on your footage so that Blender can distinguish that point through all frames of your footage. Come over down here to track. You can track forward using that arrow, or you can use the cool way, Control T, and that'll track it forward. Command T if you're on a Mac. I'm gonna come over here to this track box right here, and we can scrub our timeline and see that that track stayed pretty much on point through the whole footage. Alrighty, now let's track the other three corners. Doing the exact same way, control left click, moving it into position, and then tracking forward. Once you got four tracks there, you can just shift select all of them. And come over here to solve, and create plain track. And Blender will create a box, right around those four tracks and distort in proportion with those track marks. Simply move those points into place to cover the billboard like so. And you can see if we play through that, it does actually a really good job staying deformed. There is this cool auto key feature where if a corner or point gets off in any way, you can turn that on and adjust it and it'll still stay parented to those tracks and deform accordingly, which is really cool. You can also add in a new solid for your track, or better yet, you can simply just open up your image that you want to replace. I'm going to use this uh, nice Aliens Among Us image. Cool. Now let's do the same thing for this right billboard here. I'm going to quickly blow through this, creating four points of high contrast and track them. Create my plane track and load in my other image. I'll name this accordingly to make sure I don't confuse myself. Alt H will unhide everything else. I'll name that other billboard as well. Let's jump into the compositing tab. You'll notice I've set up my compositor a little bit differently. I've got my viewer set up on this top right hand corner. That's just the way I prefer so that my nodes don't get in the way of my footage. I'm gonna control shift and left click on that and I can see my footage up here. Shift A will allow me to add in a new node and I'm gonna just search for the plane track to form node. Load in my footage, select my camera, and then grab that first plane track billboard that I wanna replace with my alien image. If I control shift and click on that, you can see there's no image there, but we do have our black and white alpha mat, which is awesome. I'm going to press Shift A and create an image node. Drop in my billboard image and plug in that to the image slot on that plane track deformer. And now you can see just like that, we have that image and it stays deformed and tracked to our footage. I'm going to mix all this together with a simple alpha over node and you're done. You can adjust that factor however you want. Slide it around. This is all to taste. But you're not really done, because we're pro here and we want to do things a little bit cooler. So, let's make a texture. I'm going to make a new texture. I'll use Musgrave. Randomize these settings a bit, make it look messy. Sure, that looks good. I'm going to press Shift-A and add in that texture node. And now if we control shift and click on that, you can see we have Alpha underneath there, which will work great for a map. So I'm going to take that into the factor of that alpha over node and voila, you can see the effect we're already starting to get. 
but there's a problem here. That texture is going all over the place because it's not staying conformed to our plane track. So how do we fix this? Well, it's quite simple, really. We just need to duplicate this plane track deformer node, pressing Shift and D, drop that in. And now if we view that, you can see we have a pretty good mat here that allow us to be the factor of our alpha over node and create some really cool kind of billboard bleeding effect going on there. Make this billboard look a little more beat up. So I'm gonna drop in a color ramp node and there's just kind of an infinite amount of things you can do with this. I can adjust my texture, scaling it up, moving it around using these XYZ transforms. I also like to use this color ramp and add a middle bar here and slide it around so that there's kind of a fake shadow. Adjust this whiteness so that there's a little bit more of a sharp edge. Make it look kind of like there's an old billboard that's been ripped through, just making it look damaged and worn out. Again, there's tons of things you can do with this here. This is all to taste and it's set up to be really procedural, which is cool. Now, if you'll notice, the edge of that billboard is really sharp because our black and white mat, that line is just a perfect box. So we want to soften that up a bit so that it integrates better with our footage. I'm going to drop in a dilate erode node and set that to feather. And if I go like minus 20 here, you can see the effect that we're going to get softening those edges. I'll change the fall off to be something that looks a little nicer. And you can see the effect that that had if we crank it up all the way up, you get the idea. We really only need something like minus four just to soften the edges just a bit to set that image on that billboard a little bit better. I can press M to disable that node and that shows you the before and after. that It actually is working even though it's subtle. So now we want to mix these two mats together so that we get the best of both worlds. So I'm going to press Shift A and drop in a mix node. Since they're both black and white mats, we can just multiply them. So I'm going to plug these both in, set this mix node to multiply. And now, boom, we have a nice black and white mat. It's got the dilate on there, or the erode, and it's got our little worn out destruction texture thing. And there we go. We're just destroying billboards left and right. So now I'm going to uh, drop in a hue saturation node, boost the values, and desaturate that a little bit and make something that matches the values of my footage. And just do some housekeeping. Control J to join those all together. I'm gonna to create these labels here and duplicate it. And now I can just switch everything to my right billboard. So the image I wanted on my right billboard, set that on the plane track deformer node, change it to the right billboard, and plug everything into a duplicated alpha over. And we've just done twice as much work in half the amount of time. I'm going to adjust these settings on this texture, randomize it a little bit. Voila. In a matter of seconds, you went from being boring billboards to uh, less boring. You can see how powerful this effect is, guys. Obviously, there's an infinite amount of things you can do with this. You could add cracks to that window. You could put graffiti on the wall. You could add an image underneath the image you put on that billboard to get kind of a uh, old billboard bleeding through effect. So many things you could do. This was just to kind of get your feet wet and show you how to use the plane tracker inside of Blender. Hope this was useful. This has been Ken and Profit for CG Cookie. Thanks for watching.